Here are five ways you can upgrade and improve your electric unicycle right now quickly and easily. Number one is side pads. Some people call them torque pads, some people call them power pads, but in the end they're all the same thing. Some people use them for jumping, some people use them for getting more torque and acceleration and then also more braking uh, performance out of their wheel, but they all do the same job. And fortunately they're really easy to make with a bit of foam, neoprene foam, and some double-sided tape, you can sculpt yourself any kind of side pad for your unicycle that's gonna help you get the most control out of your wheel and feel the most comfortable while riding. But in the end, for any new rider, even if you have a thicker wheel, but if you have a thinner wheel, um, side pads are a great addition to make your wheel feel a lot more stable. And like I have an InMotion V8, it's quite a thin wheel, so when you add some side pads, it feels a lot wider and I feel more comfortable with a thicker wheel in between my legs. Number two is a seat. Although no manufacturers of electric unicycles currently manufacture a seat accessory to come along with it, many third-party companies have already started making seat accessories that fit the KS16X, M Super uh, line, all the whole M Super line, the Monster. Um, I think that's it uh, that I can think off the top of my head. There's always a way that you can manufacture, <laughs> manufacture, you can DIY your own seat accessory. Um, for most unicycles, mine's a V8. Um, it's pretty uncomfortable but to make a seat, but um, I managed to do it with some of the packing foam, actually, and uh, it's janky, but it works, and it gets me around. I can ride for about half an hour. It's kind of nice to be able to change positions when you're on a longer ride. So that's a good way to upgrade your electric unicycle and make it more efficient, because when you're sitting down, you're not up against the wind, so it is more efficient in the long run. And moving right along to number three, grip tape. Some manufacturers use rubber and grip tape or just rubber on their pedals, but something that I find really important and that a lot of other hardcore riders uh, constantly push to be more important in, the, uh, in your world is um, having good grip tape on your, on your pedals. And they, they, when they review wheels, they constantly look at, is the grip tape good? Um, but your grip tape is going to wear down over time. It doesn't stay the same as it was um, ever. So. Um, there's an easy solution to that, which is going and buying some sandpaper and some double-sided tape or some actual skateboard grip tape. Um, I think there's some certain kinds that are a lot grippier, but you choose one that's right for you and they're pretty, it's pretty easy to replace. You just cut it, cut it out to the shape of the pedal. Um, but it can improve your ride quality and your grippiness and your comfortability and your, how safe you feel on your wheel dramatically. Um, so that's something that if you want to do that cheaply, that's something that can really help you out to be safe on your wheel. And number four is a new tire. Although the manufacturer usually ships with a pretty efficient um, road friendly tire, um, sometimes you want a bit of something different and that means um, even before you've worn down your original tire, you might want to go out and get an off-road tire, an e-bike tire. It's a good thing to get uh, an e-bike tire because they've got reinforced sidewalls and that helps with punctures because um, regular bike tires that you buy at the store, like a Canadian Tire or Walmart or something, they aren't going to be as strong and it's gonna you're going to flatten your tire more often because all of your weight is on one tire instead of two on a bike. So it's not necessarily designed for that and the e-bike tires are designed for higher speeds so you're going to have a longer lasting tire in the long run but I swapped out my V8 tire for an off-roading tire with big knobs on it and it was fantastic for a little while and then, and then I just wasn't getting the range that I wanted to so I swapped it out back with the original tire but if you want a wheel and you want it to feel different some of the time and you want a different ride characteristic here and there uh, instead of buying a whole new wheel one of the easiest things to do is just to swap out the tire and Last but not least, number five, um, a cover or a rain cover or just a protective cover. Any fabric cover will work. Uh, certain wheels, actually only one company in motion, they make covers for all of their wheels, I believe. I know the V8 and the V10 both have covers and I think the V5 does as well. They make a fabric cover and it's really fantastic because um, it just protects, like mine's totally torn up, but the, I mean the wheel's torn up as well. but. It protects a little bit. My wheel would probably be uh, totaled if it wasn't for that cover. Um, and there'd be a lot more scratches around certain areas. 
Um, but there is aftermarket covers that you can buy. I know one company, Rolls NZ, I'll put the link in the description um, or somewhere around here. Um, they sell um, some for Gotway models and King Song models. And I think they have a 9 Bud Z10 cover as well, but it's just kind of a nice added touch that if you want to protect your wheel from scratches, that's the way to go. And that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for making it to the end of the video, and I hope you enjoyed this little video. I tried to scrunch a whole bunch of things into a tiny little video, and I hope it didn't ramble on too much. Um, but yeah, uh, thank you guys again so much for watching, and enjoy. See you later.